the granddaddy of them all, Cabernet Sauvignon, or also known as the big scary red wine for beginner wine drinkers. But don't be too scared. Today we're going to tell you all about Cabernet Sauvignon. Coming up. So in today's video, similar to our other wine style guides, check out our playlist up above. We're going to talk about what Cabernet Sauvignon is, the best regions it comes from, what to look for in a Cabernet Sauvignon, and last we'll give you our recommendations on specific Cabernet Sauvignons to try as a beginner. So what is Cabernet Sauvignon? So Cabernet Sauvignon comes from the Cabernet Sauvignon grape. It's known for its thick skin and reliability among harsh climates. It's a rich, full-bodied, dry red wine with a low acidity and a high tannin level. And it's a very dark reddish purple color. Now the Cabernet Sauvignon grape was created in the 16th or 17th century in the southwest of France by accidentally breeding together the Cabernet Franc and Sauvignon Blanc grapes to create Cabernet Sauvignon. At the moment, at least currently, Cabernet Sauvignon is considered one of the most popular red wines in the United States. So what are the best regions to buy a Cabernet Sauvignon? So the best region to buy a Cabernet Sauvignon is actually from the Bordeaux region of France. And this was the birthplace of Cabernet Sauvignon wine. It originated in southwest France and became popular in the Bordeaux region. However, today most Cabernet Sauvignon wines consist of Bordeaux blends, which are mostly a Cabernet Sauvignon grape, however contain other grapes within them to create a unique taste. This also has a gravel-based soil, which also gives Cabernet and the Bordeaux blends a unique taste. Another great place to look is the north coast of California, specifically Napa Valley and Sonoma County. Have you ever heard of them? <laughs> From there, you'll typically notice flavors of blackberry, currant, tobacco, and mint within the Cabernet Sauvignons. And fun fact, if you've ever heard of the Judgment of Paris within the wine world, this is where they compared Cabernet Sauvignons from California to Bordeaux blends from France. And it actually turns out that some of the Cabernet Sauvignons from California rated higher than the Bordeaux blends from France. And that's really where the popularity took off behind the Cabernet Sauvignons in California. And then we have the South Australian region. Now from this region, you might find hints of black plum, currant, chocolate, bay leaves, or even a mint flavor. And from this region, it's a warmer climate and it has red clay soils, which make for a very unique Cabernet Sauvignon. Specifically, the Coonawarra region of South Australia is known for many twist off cap wines, which are actually great wines. So don't be fooled by those types. And we talk about just this topic in our beginner wine mistakes video. Be sure to check it out up above. And then we have Chile as our last location. Chile, you will find wines that have a lot of black fruit notes, fig notes, peppercorn, and spices within the Cabernet Sauvignons. Now these vineyards are on the Andes Mountains, which are along the Pacific Ocean. And again, this environment just gives a very unique taste to the Cabernet Sauvignon wine. Also, if you're looking for the best value for a quality Cabernet Sauvignon, check out Cabernet Sauvignons from Chile. Wait! If you like what you see so far, consider subscribing. We post weekly videos on wine tips and tricks for any level of wino to enjoy the world of wine. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time we upload new content. So what should one look for in a Cabernet Sauvignon? So in a Cabernet Sauvignon, you should see a dark reddish purplish color. It should have a rich color and flavor. It should be high in tannin levels, full bodied, and have a medium to high acidity. Now the nice thing about Cabernet Sauvignons is that you can drink them when they're young, but they also age really well. One thing to keep in mind too with Cabernet Sauvignon is that it has a high alcohol content. It can range from 13.5% to 15%. So you wanna make sure you have a little bit of food with you with that one. <laughs> Another thing to keep in mind is that since 
Cabernet Sauvignon has a higher tannin level, you want to decant it or aerate it. And you can even decant it up to an hour before serving it. You know, with Cabernet Sauvignon, its flavor can range from pepper to tobacco to black fruit notes to spices to vanilla to even tasting like pencil lead. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to drink your Cabernet Sauvignon with food. This is because of the high alcohol content, high acidity level, and high tannin level. Now, foods that pair really well with Cabernet Sauvignon include all red meats, like steak, prime rib and burgers, lamb, Gouda cheese and aged cheddar for those cheese boards, stuffed portobello mushrooms for those vegetarians, and really any food that has a bold, high flavor. So let's get into our favorite recommendations of Cabernet Sauvignon. Our first recommendation is H3 Wines Cabernet Sauvignon. This H3 Cabernet Sauvignon is bold, tannic, dry, and acidic, with oaky notes, black fruit notes, and earthy notes. Up next we have Chateau Saint-Michel Cabernet Sauvignon. This wine is bold, tannic, dry, and slightly acidic, with hints of oaky notes, black fruit notes, and red fruit notes. Now, if you're looking for a little bit more of expensive type of Cabernet Sauvignon, around $27-ish, check out the Behringer Knights Valley Cabernet Sauvignon 2017. This wine is very bold, slightly tannic, dry, and has a medium acidity with oaky notes, black fruit notes, and red fruit notes. And if you're looking for a cheaper Bordeaux wine to try, try Chateau Hon, Quillebon, Chateau Monton, Bordeaux Rouge. This Bordeaux blended wine is bold, tannic, dry, and acidic, with red fruit notes, oaky notes, and black fruit notes. And be sure to check the description below. We'll type out all of the wines that we just recommended. So that's all you need to know about Cabernet Sauvignon wine. Did we miss anything? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you like what you see. We'll see you in our next video. Cheers. Cheers.